Hello friends, this is your friend Rakesh. I welcome all of you to my this video tutorial. Today we will be learning how we can create two column relationship in Power BI without concatenation or merge of two columns. Yes, I am right. We will be using uh, another trick wherein we do not require any concatenation or merge operation. Let's dig in. Before we jump to the solution, let me show you the data. Here we have two tables. First is the actual expense table and second is the plan expense table. Right now I am at the actual expense table. We have department period and actual expenses. Second table we have the similar table department period and now the planned expenses. Let me take you to the relationship window. Here again we have two tables department period department period plan expenses and actual expenses and there is no relationship exist here if you see sales department has plan expenses of 7000 in the month of january similarly for accounts we have 9000 as a plan expense in the month of january in order to get actual expenses there is a relationship of two columns department and period because without the combination of two columns we won't be able to achieve the actual expenses so let's see how we can create that we will be creating two bridge table over here the first bridge table i call it department let's get the distinct values from our actual expense table distinct then i'll call it department from the actual table let's enter similarly we will be using department from the planned expenses so in order to bring data from both the tables in one column we will be using union and then again the distinct here i will use plan table in the department so now if you see our sales and sales item is getting repeated two times accounts again getting repeated admin get again getting repeated so in order to get the distinct count let's again use the distinct keyword so here in the bridge table we have a distinct department we will be we will be using this trick for our period let's copy this again and again we will create a second bridge table for period so as i have copied i will simply replace the department and here we have a distinct period let's go to the relationship window make a relationship of our bridge table first with the actual table and second with the plan table like this and similarly we will be creating the relationship of our bridge table with both the tables we are able to connect both the tables both the table using two columns but here as we are using the bridge table to make this relationship so the whole structure is going to act as a two column relationship so let's create a visual and let's see how this function here i am going to make bar chart so for, in order to create the bar chart i am taking actual expenses first and then the plan expenses let's switch places so we are using department in the x-axis from the bridge table and we will create a filter in the filter we are dropping period from the bridge table change the formatting of the table i mean the column so if i make a change here the numbers will change so if you see it's working with this we have achieved a two column relationship i hope you like the video if you want more such con content please subscribe my youtube channel and join my linkedin group you can find the link in the description thanks for joining have a nice day.